Hey everyone, welcome to this session. Our topic is soil and we are still discussing about the soil properties. Uh, in our past videos, we discussed the, the soil physical properties. Then we also discussed the, the soil chemical properties. So today let's move on to the biological properties of the soil. So here we are going to see specifically uh, what are the organisms uh, that can be found in the soil and those kind of organisms are also the ones that make up the soil. So we'll start with the concept of these biological properties of soil. First, you have to know that a large number of organisms live in the soil and the, these kinds of organisms, they live in the soil just as for survival. And the, the soil uh, harbors these bacteria and adenomycetes, uh, uh, fungi, uh, aridia, protozoa, nematodes, worms, insects, and the uh, trodents. So these are just some of the organisms that they live in the soil. Now these organisms, they perform a variety of functions for their growth and uh, reproduction. Now because of these functions uh, of the soil organisms, the soil behave like a living entity. So it's just like a living habitat for these organisms. The soil components, uh, these various components of the soil, they photosize, respire, and reproduce. Now, in addition, they reproduce, they produce also the organic matter. They consume the organic matter and they decompose all of these organic matter. Now, some of, of them, the bureau in the soil, they make spaces for the accommodation and movement and they mix the surface and the subsoil materials together. So in this case, the soil becomes a dynamic body for the activity of the soil organisms. The changes that are caused by the soil organisms have their impact on the soil fertility and the productivity. So that's why they are named as the ones that can result to various uh, nature of the soil. In such, they are the biological properties of the soil. Although this soil biota, this means the organisms living in the soil, uh, which includes living roots and also soil organisms, occupies a very fraction of the total soil volume that is less than 0.5%. It has a tremendous influences uh, on the soil properties and the soil processes. Our the 60 to 80 percent of the soil metabolism is due to these microflora, which are the microscopic plants. Bacteria are often considered to be also as these microflora. Now, however, the soil organisms are usually the most active in the surface soil zone of about 0 to 15 centimeters because during or within this zone, they have accumulation of organic residues and available nutrients. They work best when there is a good aeration, a neutral soil reaction, soil moisture content or at about half of the water holding capacity and the temperature of about 25 degrees to and the, yes, 38 degrees. Soil depth, organic matter and nutrients, microclimate, the physical and the chemical soil environment influence the population and the function of the soil biota. So I hope it's clear, guys. Thank you for listening. We briefly discussed here about the biological properties of the soil. Here we've talked about the various organisms that live in the soil. Uh, so this was our last uh, property of the soil. We've discussed the, the physical property of soil, the chemical properties of soil, and then we finished with the biological properties of soil. Thank you.